Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Daisy, Daisy, guess what? They're having free ticket day at the, at the water park. What were you talking about, Molly? I'm trying to read my science journal. This is very important. It means we don't have to have money to go to the water park today. We can just go for free. You get a ticket and it doesn't cost you anything. Doesn't that sound fun? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at me, I got a new donut inner tube. Isn't it cool? Isn't it cool? Isn't it cool? Isn't it cool? Cool, cool? I love it. Don't you want to take a bite out of it? Except for you can't, because if you did, all the air would come out. It wouldn't taste like a donut. It tastes like plastic, and you'd ruin my um new floaty, and it'd be sad. Why are you talking so fast and so much? Ah, I'm trying to read this. It's very important. Daisy, are you going to spend your entire summer just doing homework? It's the summer break! We don't, we don't have homework. I know, I'm doing this because I'm going to be a famous scientist someday, and that requires a lot of hard work, even when other people aren't working. Daisy, there's literally two weeks of our summer vacation before we go back to school, and you were going to miss out on all the fun, you stinky doo-doo! Don't call me names! Girls, I couldn't help but hear your little interaction here, and, um, well, I can't believe I'm saying this right now, but I agree with Molly. Wait, what?! You agree with me? Well, there has to be a first time for everything. I can't believe you agree with her, Mom. I thought you supported my goals. Well, I do, Daisy, but even famous scientists take vacations and breaks. It's important to rest your brain. My brain does not need a, need a rest. Well, you couldn't even talk right there, so I'm pretty sure it does. Be quiet, Molly! Just because you guys are distracting me, I am not going. It's okay, Mom. I wouldn't want to go with this grumpy goose anyway. She would spoil all the fun. Okay, girls, suit yourself. I've got some baking to do in the kitchen. Daisy, if you don't stop it, you're going to grow up to be old, boring, and a loser. I will not. I'll be famous. Yeah, famous at being boring and having no fun and, and, and being totally lonely. So nobody wants to hang out with somebody that never wants to go to the water park. Buddy, I... I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm gonna be amazing. Let me explain it to you this way. Molly, I said class is dismissed. Huh, what, what, no, I wasn't sleeping. Please don't give me detention. Molly, it's Friday, just go home. I don't wanna be in detention either. I just wanna enjoy my weekend. Okay, Mrs. Smith, have a good weekend. What am I gonna do with Molly? I should probably send a letter home to her parents. I can't believe I didn't get a hundred on my test. Aww. Daisy, what are you still doing here? I told you class was dismissed. I got a 99 and, and I, I didn't get a hundred. Well, that's because the last point was a bonus question. You didn't have to study that, so you didn't get it correct. But, but I study all summer long and everything. Seriously? Don't you go to the water park with your family or your friends? Neville, I always stay home and just do my work so I can get hundreds and become a famous scientist. Well, I, I appreciate your dedication to science, but I do think, honey, that you should take a break sometimes. The stress is starting to get to you. It's not getting to me. What are you talking about? Daisy, come on now. I don't want to have to give you a detention for talking to me like that. Sorry, I'm just... I'm a little stressed over this. I mean, I know I'll do better. Can I stay a little longer? Suit yourself, but I'm going to the water park, so why don't you go ahead and lock the door when you leave? Okay, Mrs. Smith. Go into the chapel and I'm gonna get married. Go to the... <clears throat> Excuse me. 
uh, Tyler, I, uh, uh, I was only paid to be here an hour, and your bride is an hour and 15 minutes late, so, uh, is she actually gonna show up? <laughs> yeah, of course she is! Daisy's the love of my life. She wouldn't just, like, not show up for our wedding day. Well, it sh certainly sort of looks like she isn't. Uh, are you her mom? Yeah, I'm her mom. <laughs> um, let me go check on her. Uh, she didn't say anything about not wanting to get married today. I just need one more minute, and then I'll have cracked the code for this formula. Daisy is, is... Daisy, what are you doing hanging out in the limo? I'm, I'm almost done. I'll be right in. Daisy, your soon-to-be husband is waiting at the end of the aisle for you. Uh, are you having cold feet? Do you not want to get married? No, I love Tyler. I think he's a great guy and stuff, but, you know, my number one passion is my science project. Daisy, you're an hour and 15 minutes late to your own wedding. I know, but this is important. If I figure this out, I'll have cured all the diseases in Brookhaven. I think of all the people that'll have good lives. Well, they can wait till tomorrow, right? I mean, today's your wedding day. I can't believe she stood me up on her wedding day. We've been dating for five years and she obviously doesn't love me. <laughs> Daisy, there goes your groom. Don't worry, I'll call Tyler tomorrow after I've solved this, of course. Daisy! Daisy, on behalf of the National Scientist Society, we would like to offer you this award. Yeah, yeah, put it on the desk with the others. I'm really busy. I'm curing cancer today. Oh, wow, <laughs> you cured Snowvid too. That's amazing. Uh, would you like to go out to dinner sometime? Excuse me, I don't have time for boyfriends. I almost got married once, but that was a huge mistake. Okay, well, um, uh, good luck, Scientist Daisy, with, you know, not being alone for the rest of your life. I like being alone, I'll have you know. Daisy, is that you? Molly? Whoa, you got a lot taller than I expected. Well, you haven't seen me in over 50 years. You were always too busy with your next science experiment. Molly, you, you're looking pretty good. You don't even have any gray hair. Oh, that's my hairstylist. She, uh, she definitely colors my hair whatever color I want. Last month, I had it purple. Oh, that's lovely. Um, I'm about to do my greatest science uh, experiment slash cure ever. Oh, really? What is it? I'm going to stay young forever. <laughs> oh, Daisy, I don't think that's such a good idea. Ow! That really hurt. Well, I've found out over the years that shots usually do. Oh, Daisy, are you, are you okay? I don't know, Marty. I feel... I feel invincible. I didn't expect that to happen. I feel really angry though for some reason. Oh, uh, maybe you just have to fart. <clears throat> that happens when you're old. Whoa, or maybe you have to throw up and you're turning green. I am super hungry for brains. <laughs> Your brains smell old, though. I'll go get someone who's young. Daisy? What happened to you? Daisy! All these experiments and you ended up alone and as a zombie! And now you're trying to bite me! Huh? Somebody help! My sister's a zombie! And that's exactly why you're going to die old, boring, and also a zombie? Wow, I didn't see that one coming. I'm not going to die at all. I'm going to live forever, so it seems very important that I read this scientific journal today. Daisy, you're missing the point. You don't want to have to eat people's brains, do you? I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to live forever. Oh my gosh, my sister has totally gone crazy. Bonkers! Insane! Maybe, Molly, but you're going to die someday, and I'm going to live forever. Molly, give me that TV remote. I don't think so. I'm watching Brooke High. Molly, give me it. It's my turn with the TV. 
<laughs> you can catch me. Nee, 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 nee. Oh yeah, Molly. Watch me. Ah! Are you are you spraying me with a fire extinguisher? Daisy, that's so rude. Give it to me, Molly. I wanna watch the news. Seriously? What are you a hundred? Why would you wanna watch the news? Boring. Molly! Turn the channel to the news station. Oh my goodness, my sister's such a brat. I'll show you right now, Lydia. I can't believe I'm on the news. This is super cool. Whoa. Uh, and now you never have to water again? That's right. I just give my plants a little pat, though, because I want them to know I still care about them. Oh, that's sweet. Wow. I don't have feelings so good. Oh, I feel very strange. You're probably just nervous from being on TV. That happens to a lot of people. I want to eat your brains. What? What did you just say? I want to eat your brains. Ah! Oh my god, the owner of, of Dr. Green Thumb has turned into a zombie. You heard it first, folks, here on News Channel 10. This could be the story of a lifetime. Oh my gosh, the new potion that Dr. Dr. Green Thumb's business created turns everything green into a zombie infection. That's right, Brookhaven residents. Don't touch the color green! Unless, of course, you want to be a brain-eating zombie. Molly, did you hear that? That, 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 that sounds insane! What? <laughs> I think they must be joking. Is it April Fool's Day? No, Molly. It's not April Fool's Day. It's July! April Fool's Day happens in April! Okay, well, that can't be true. Every green plant in Brookhaven, if you touch it, will turn you into a zombie? That would be like the end of the universe! Yeah, well, I think it must be true because I saw it on the news. Nah, the news is full of fluff. And, um... I think it's a lot of... Oh, Molly, did you just fart? Yeah, it's a lot of doo-doo. That's what it is. Oh, boy, Molly. Please tell me you won't touch the color green. Please! Hey, Molly. What's up? Oh, you playing some soccer? Hey, Brookie. Nice to see you. Did you see the news? Uh, no, I never watch the news. It bores me so much. Me too. So, you didn't hear anything weird going on in Brookhaven? No, not at all. Wanna hang out? Yeah, sure. Okay, let me just go put my bike over there in the grass. Um, I don't think you should touch the... Uh, don't, don't touch the... Oh, don't be silly, Molly. That was just a prank. Oh, wow. I don't feel so good. Uh... Brookie? Oh my god, it wasn't a prank. Molly, how could you? The news was telling the truth. Uh, don't look now, but our BFF is having... Some major problems. <laughs> brains. Give me all your brains. Yeah, I should say so. Poor Bookie. I never thought that it would come to this. Well, as long as we don't touch the color green, everything should be fine, right, Daisy? Yeah, exactly. We can avoid the color green, like forever, right? Yeah, totally. So sad. I lost my best friend to the zombie apocalypse. Molly, your shirt! It has green on it! A little green alien! Huh, what? Ah! Oh my god. And so is it everything green? Because I've been touching this the whole time and I'm not a zombie. Oh, maybe it's just the plants and the trees and everything living. So your shirt is okay. Oh, hopefully the whole town isn't a zombie yet. I'm gonna go out and take a look. Okay, the door won't open now. Uh -huh. Unlock! Uh, I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get a cupcake. What a stressful day! Ooh, look at that green apple. That looks delicious. No! Don't touch that! Didn't you watch the news? What? No, I'm starving. Ah! You're touching the color green! Oh my gosh, you're gonna turn into a zombie. What are you talking about? I think this apple tastes fine. Ugh, my stomach kind of hurts now. I guess I wasn't that hungry. Here you go, you can have it. Oh! Ah! Why did I catch that? Oh my god, no! 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 Oh, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh. It's happening, isn't it? I'm gonna turn into a zombie! Brains. Brains. Why can't I get up off the ground? I'm a lazy zombie. Ugh. 
so much like my human self. Molly? No! Molly, not you too! My sister! No! Molly, you stay back. Stay back from me, Molly! Uh, I want to eat your brain, sister. I am so hungry. I better go to my science lab. Try to reverse this horrible potion. Molly, please! Oh, no. Brains. Want to eat your brains. Let me in. Don't you want a nice, delicious cupcake, Molly? You love cupcakes. Yes. Brain cupcakes. Stop saying brains! Brains. Wow, you're even annoying as a zombie. Go figure. I've been working night and day for an entire week, but I think I know how to reverse the zombie apocalypse that's happening. All I have to do is mix up this potion, and I should be able to cure all of Brookhaven by putting a few traps in the water source. I just hope I'm not too late for my sister Molly. As annoying as she is, she's more annoying wanting to eat my brains. City of Brookhaven, don't worry. Scientist Daisy will cure you all. I'm on my way. Uh-oh. Did I just touch the color green? Oh, no. I've doomed all of Brookhaven. It's happening. It's happening. All of Brookhaven is now zombified. Brains. I want brains. a potty chair um you have to be a big girl now and use the potty if you want to go to the water park today no i'm gonna go poop over my diaper oh that's not what big girls do too late oh molly all right i guess we'll have to give you a bath i don't want a bath either well if you have to be a naughty baby then you're gonna have to sit in time out instead of going to the water park you don't want that do you no i just don't want a bath well, I'm getting ready for the water park. See? See my cute little outfit? This is exactly what I've got to go to the water park. And you can get a cute little outfit to go too, as long as you're good. Now, you need to take a little nap, and then we'll be all ready to go. La, la, la. I'm not going to sleep, lady. Oh, come on. I'll sing you the nicest lullaby. I'm not going to sleep. Oh, wait. Nope, nope. Yes, I am. <laughs> both have a little bit of a cough. <coughs> I'm gonna go to the water park, you promise, lady! Well, first we need to give you some cough medicine because Daisy's got a cough, too. Yeah, and I kinda wanna go home. Daisy, you don't wanna go home. We're not calling Mom. We're going to the water park. I had to try to go to the bathroom and the potty, and then I had to get a bath. I had to do all this stuff, and, and I'm going to that water park. Well, I'm kind of hungry, too. Are you hungry, Molly? No. <coughs> I just have this cough I can't get rid of. Okay, girls, well, here we are at the doctor's office. I just need to give you a little bit of cough medicine, and you probably will feel good enough to go to the water park, okay? I'm better, lady. Oh, wow, I do feel all better. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the water park, yay! Molly, wait up, I need to take my medicine too, and then we can go to Gavel. Not waiting. Oh. Um, gee, I can't wait to see it. It's going to be beautiful. I know this new water park is going to be amazing. <gasps> it totally is. Look at it. Donut water park. My kind of water park. It's amazing. There's an ice cream truck out front. And then, then, then there's water and there's slides and there's, there's beach balls and there's pools. And OMG, it's amazing. Dizzy, seriously, are you crying at the water park? I was for a minute, but now I'm super happy. Why were you crying? I, I, I'm just so excited. I can't take it. Oh my gosh, my sister's kind of cray cray. Girls, don't go in water that's over your head though, okay? Um, yeah, we'll try not to, but no promises. <laughs> Girls, do you either one of you know how to, to swim? Uh, no. Well, I guess you could have swim lessons. 
Nah, we don't need swimming. We'll be just fine. Actually, if you're in the water and you don't know how to swim, then you need to be wearing a life jacket. Oh, this lady, nag, 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 nag. Ha ha, going down the water slide. It's gonna be, whoa, super fun. Whee! Um, now might be a time to worry about not being able to swim. Just stand up. The water's not even deep now, cheapers. Oh, I hit my knee and I scraped it. <laughs> it's making me mad. Whoa, it sounds like someone needs a time out. Come on, Marley, turn that frown upside down. We could splash in the water park. It'll be fun. You're, you're ugly. Oh. What? Marley, what? That's it, Molly. Time out for you. That's such a mean thing to say. Why are you so grumpy? I just am. It's because I'm a baby. <laughs> All right, well, time out for you, my dear. Why don't you stand right there and think about what you did and said, and when you're ready to join us and be a good girl, you can get out of time out. Fine! I don't like you anyway, lady. Look at my knee. It's got a cut on it. I hit it on the bottom of the pool and no one even cares. <laughs> Molly, you're supposed to be spending this time thinking about what you said to Daisy. I hurt my knee, lady. I hurt my knee. Oh, wow. You hurt your arm and your knee. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe you scraped the bottom of the pool, Molly. Everything will be okay. Um, It just looks like they're little scrapes. I want my mommy. La la la, la la la, la 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 la. Is this lady for real right now? That's not helping. Molly, just try to listen to this. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. I'm gonna buy you a mockingbird. Whoa, that's working. I don't want it to work. I'm, I want to be grumpy. Molly, come on, you're at the water park. Don't you want to have a good time? Yeah, okay. Now remember what I said, be careful in the water, okay? And no more timeouts. Okay, fine. Come on, Daisy, let's go down another slide. I don't know, I can't swim. And I saw what happened to you, you gotta scrape. Yeah, but don't be a chicken, come on, let's go. Oh man, this one looks super, super, super cool. It's like a rainbow slide. Whoa, whoa, uh-oh, I'm stuck. Teacher! I need help, I'm stuck in the water slide. Uh-oh, I'm, I'm never gonna be able to come down here. Wait, wait, I think I just walked down it. Molly, are you okay? Yeah, I got stuck in the water slide, but, oh, whoa, my teacher came right up here and got me. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. We are magic like that, Molly. Uh, teacher? Daisy's under the water. Daisy, Daisy, oh my gosh, are you okay? I think I might have been drowning, but I'm okay. Um, Daisy, that's that's not okay to be drowning. Girls, you need to be careful. This water is only as deep as your knees, but the two of you keep going under the water. Be very careful. We will. Hey, don't, don't splash me. You'll, you'll mess up my makeup. You're going to the water park, lady. Why'd you care about your makeup? Oh, I guess you're right. Come on, let's have a splash fight. Yeah. I'm thirsty. Well, drink some of this water I'm splashing at you. Ha, ha, ha. Food, Molly! Daisy, there's nothing wrong with drinking pool water. I think it's delicious. Ew, Molly! Probably someone with pee-pee in there. Yeah, me. I had to go. Ew, Molly! Do you know what you're just saying right now? Ew, gross! Oh, it's not that gross. Try it! You need water and there's a whole lot here. Molly peed in the pool! Molly? Ah, uh, this is our ool. Please leave the pee out. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> that was super funny. <laughs> Maybe you babies are just too little to bring to the water park. Wait, what? No, no, lady, we're not too, we're not too little. Ah, uh, I don't know, Molly. Maybe next year you'll be mature enough to come to the water park. Right now, though, I think we better take you both to the potty and have something to eat and maybe a nap. What? No, I'm going to go back to the water park. I only rode like two slides. And for right now, that's enough. 
you kids have needs and eating and drinking and going to the potty chair are all things you need to do. That's lame. I want to wear a diaper forever. I don't. I want to be a big girl. I don't want to be peeing in the water park pool. Well, I don't care. I want to be at the water park, so if I have to pee in the pool, I don't care. But I don't, I don't want to sit on this potty chair anymore. Getting off of it. Good job, Molly. You peed in the potty. I didn't want to, though. You forced me to. I am hungry, though. Let's have a snack and let's go back to the pool. Can you be good, Molly? Um, yeah, sure. I can be really good. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, do I not have enough money? I really want to slime my teacher. Hmm, I've got to think of another way to be naughty. <laughs> I know how to be naughty. I took Daisy's favorite rubber ducky. Now she won't have it for bath time at Twilight Daycare. <laughs> oh, I love being evil. Molly, have you seen my rubber ducky? Um, no, I haven't seen it at all. Molly, you're holding my rubber ducky. Girls, are you fighting again? Yeah, but you're not the lady who takes care of us, so bye. Rude. I can still report you and give you time out. She took my bubble ducky. Yep, because I'm naughty, and everybody knows it. <laughs> Molly, you drop that bubble ducky right now. Not a chance. Molly, did you take Daisy's toy? You're not going to go back to the water park. I'm going back. I'm, I, wait, why are you picking me up, lady? You're not going back. You're being very naughty. You know what that means? You need a nap. No, I don't want a nap. Get, let go of me. Let, let go. Molly, you need a nap. Now get in your crib. I'm going to give you two seconds. Hey, fine, I'm in here. But I'm not going to sleep, lady. I'm not doing it. I don't want to take a nap. I can't believe Mr. Smith gave me this much homework. I mean, seriously, I have to have a life outside of school. Molly, are you going to help me with this science project? He did pair us up together. Can't move. Can't move. Molly, what are you talking about? Get over here and help me with this science project. Daisy, I literally, I, I, I can't move. What do you mean you can't move? You're perfectly capable of moving. Get up. Daisy, it has been such a long day of so much schoolwork. Why do the teachers give us so much homework anyway? Molly, you need to help with this science project or we'll both fail. You have your backpack on still. What are you doing? Well, I figured I had so much homework. Why even take the books off my back? Yeah, good point, Molly. We do have a lot of homework lately. But I'm a good student, so I will always get it done. Well... I'm a bad student, so I'm just going to hang out on the couch. Molly, you're so smart. If only you did your schoolwork. And this time, you're going to, because if you don't, I'm going to get a bad grade. Okay, I'll be there in just a minute. So tired of school. So tired of school. Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? Why are you crawling like a dog or like a baby or whatever? I can't do any more schoolwork. It's killing me. Molly died of doing too much schoolwork. Rest in peace, Molly. Molly, get up. Are you serious right now? We're being so dramatic. Um, I don't think you should do CBR, Daisy. Uh, I think she's still alive. Daisy, get, get away from me. You're, you're ruining my moment. What, your moment of being a drama queen? Pretty much. I'm just going to go over here. Oh, no more schoolwork. No more. Molly, get up and do your schoolwork. Are you Daisy's partner for the science project? No. I'm no one's project. I'm dead. Molly, quit being so dramatic. You are my science partner. Molly, get up off the floor, please, and do your homework. Fine. I just don't want to. I just don't want to do my homework. Molly, you need to stop this. Seriously, I'm going to have to ground you. Are you laughing at me right now? Seriously? Ah! Molly, are you crying for real? Yes, I, I am. Molly, come on. Don't lie. All right. No, I wasn't crying for real. But seriously, this is way too much homework. I just need some chill time. You can have some chill time after you finish your science project. 
Daisy's so perfect. She always does everything right on time. And I'm like the bad student. Well, you said it, not me, Molly. Hey, Molly, did you finish your science project? Yes, finally. My brain is crying. <laughs> I'm sure you'll survive, Molly. Mom, I need a snack. Not right now, Molly. You need to have um, dinner in just like maybe 20 minutes. Okay, I'm just going to eat this waffle. Molly, I said no. Oh, can't you be like your sister and just wait for dinner? Oh, Daisy's so perfect, isn't she? I mean, she's like the perfect angel. Well, you said it, not me. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I can't stand anybody or anything right now. Daisy, everyone thinks you're so perfect. That's because I am, Molly. I'm the perfect angel. I'm going to my room. I can't even be around the perfect angel anymore. No one can live up to that. No one. Oh, maybe I can finally get some peace and quiet. Oh, finally, my bed. Hey, Brookie. Hey, Molly, what's up? I'm just having like the worst day ever. I know, Mr. Smith gave us so much homework, right? Yeah, and and I don't know. She's just so perfect. She's like she's like an angel, and I'm like a demon. Molly, don't say that. Your family loves you. Your friends love you. You're great. It doesn't matter if you're different. Yeah, I, I guess. Hey, Brookie, I, I gotta go. Before the perfect angel comes in here. Daisy, what what are you doing? I'm doing my chores, Molly. Why? Daisy, that's, Daisy, that's really loud. I need some peace and quiet. Sorry, Molly, but the chores must be done. Oh. Oh, look at you're doing chores. Aren't you the perfect girl? OMG! Oh, oopsie, I accidentally jumped into the hot tub. <laughs> oh, well, seems like a good place to be, right? I mean, I think this backpack's waterproof. Well, if my books get wet, I guess I can't do any more homework. Oh, what a shame. Molly, did you do your chores? Oh my gosh, I just got done with homework. Sorry, but now you have to do chores. O-M-G! Okay, what do I need to do? Vacuum down here, okay? Daisy was vacuuming. Daisy vacuumed upstairs. Now you can vacuum downstairs. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what are you crying about, Molly? You're being super loud. Come watch this cat video. You'll think it's funny. I can't. I have to do my chores. You didn't get them done yet, Molly? Wow. No, not all of us are perfect angels like you. Uh, uh. Oh, that was the longest day of my life. Finally, I get to go to bed. Like, seriously, I'm looking forward to going to bed. That's how awful today was. I thought today was great. Of course you did, Daisy. Good night. Oh, ouch, I tripped over my own feet. I'm the clumsiest angel in the entire world. Oh, hopefully I didn't wake her up. What, what's going on? Oh, no. Oh, I'm such a terrible angel. What, what, what's going on? Is this a dream? Um, well, not exactly. You see, um, I'm a guardian angel. Really, honey, guacamole, that's cool. We angels have been watching you for a while, Daisy, and it seems that you're such an amazing person. We want to offer you the chance to become an angel like us. What? Are you serious right now? Okay, wake up, Daisy, wake up. I'm telling you, this is not a dream. Would an angel trip over her own feet if this was a dream? Sometimes I think maybe, because sometimes I dream that like elephants can fly and stuff, so you know, maybe... Well, I'm telling you, this isn't a dream. You can pinch yourself and find out. Okay. Ouch, that hurt. Oh, sorry, you probably pinched yourself a little too hard. <laughs> but see, I'm real. You really want me to be an angel? I sure do. <laughs> I think you'd be perfect at it. Hopefully you're not as clumsy as I am, though. The only thing is, is that when you become an angel, you have to start life all over again. So you lose all of the number of years you've been on the planet. Wait, what? That's right. You have to go back to being a baby. A baby angel, though. 
Um, this sounds crazy right now. Well, you could think it over, but you only have three seconds to make your decision. What? Two. Wait a minute, I can't decide! Three. Have you made your decision? Um, like, um. Okay, I'll do it. The world needs more angels. Okay, <laughs> this little spell won't hurt a bit. Well, <laughs> it looks like my spell didn't go quite as it should. You're kind of a toddler, but oh well, things should be just fine. My work here is done. La 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 la. <laughs> oh my gosh, I tripped over my own feet again. Oh, am I ever going to not be so clumsy? <laughs> Why am I dreaming about a crying baby? Seriously, if I didn't have a bad day, now I'm going to have a bad night too? <laughs> Daisy, is that you crying? You sound like a baby. What is going on? Daisy? Daisy? What, what, what's going on? Ah, I'm a baby angel. What? You're a baby? I'm so dreaming right now. This is crazy talk. I, I got turned back into a baby because I decided to be an angel. What? How did this happen? A grown up angel made me one well because she said I was such a perfect human. Holy guacamole! Ugh, this is just like my life. My sister gets to be an amazing angel and, and I just get to be a boring old human? How is this even fair? This isn't fair! OMG! Well, what should we do? Should we, like, hide you or something? Of course not. I'm an angel, so I'm perfect. Everybody will want to look upon my face and say, look at that perfect angel. OMG! That's it! That's it! Where's all my stuff? I'm moving! I'm out of here! You can't leave. I just follow you wherever you go because, Molly, I'm going to be your guardian angel. What? No, you're not! You can't even fly! I gotta climb up here and then you'll see I can fly. One, two... Oh, looks like the baby angel's not so perfect after all. I can't fly yet because I'm just a baby. I don't know how to use my wings. Well, maybe that adult angel should have stayed around to help you. I don't know how any of this works. I'm still a baby. Holy guacamole, though. Are my wings beautiful? Yeah, you're perfect, Daisy. You're always perfect. I'm just going to go eat some breakfast. Life is not fun lately. La 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 Ooh, waffles, yes. Mmm. So delicious. Good morning, Molly. Where's your sister? Uh, you're not gonna believe this, Mom. When you see her, you're probably gonna scream. What? Why? What happened? Uh, just wait and see, Mom. <laughs> mm. Mm. Could I have some more? Molly, you really should eat something healthy for breakfast. You buy the waffles, Mom. I'm just eating them. Well, you could have some fruit on top of the waffles, and the waffles aren't supposed to be for breakfast every day, just on weekends as a special treat. Good morning. What? What's going on here? Oh, my gosh. Ah, uh, yeah, I told you you'd freak out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. How did, uh, how did you become a, a baby and an, 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 an angel? Uh-oh. Somebody get a bucket of water. She's out. Stand back, baby angel. Sorry about this, Mom. Oh, oh my gosh, I just had the craziest dream. Wait, why am I on the kitchen floor? Ah, uh, because you didn't have a dream, Mom. Your daughter, who's so perfect and is the perfect little angel, well, she's an actual angel. And a grown-up angel came in the middle of the night and decided she could become, well, a baby angel. Oh, wait, I'm so confused. Slow down here. All you have to know is I'm a baby angel, and I'm here to bless you all with the best gifts possible. Happiness and love. <laughs> Sounds boring. Bye. Molly, don't be rude to your sister. Obviously, you don't know what a perfect angel is like. Oh, uh, obviously not. Sounds really boring. La, 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 la. What's on TV? <laughs> Funny cats. <laughs> Funny cats getting baths. <laughs> Molly, don't you think it's time for you to go upstairs and get ready for school? 
Well, don't you think it's time for you to go to school? I don't go to your school. I go to angel school. Oh, fancy. Is that like a private school or something? Yeah, only for angels like me. Not for you. Fine, whatever. I don't need to go to angel school. Who wants to go to boring angel school, huh? Who wants to go to boring angel school anyway? Just go to regular school. I wish. I wish that I could be a baby demon. Did somebody say they wish? What? What? How did you hear that? Because I'm an angel, I can hear all of the wishes and hopes and dreams of everybody. Wow, that sounds like a big job for a little, little tiny angel like you. Yeah, it's a lot of responsibility. What is it you wished for? Um, nothing. You have to tell me a wish, obviously. Why? I don't want to. Because I'll cry if you don't. <laughs> Seriously? I can't help it. I may be perfect, but I'm still a baby. <laughs> okay, fine. I wish that I was a demon. What? Are you serious? No! This is bad! Well, it's better than being an angel. Oh my gosh. I have to grant your wish. Why? You're an angel, not a genie. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how any of this works, but I think I have to. Okay, if you say so. Make me a demon! Your wish is my command. You're a demon. Holy guacamole! Look at me! <laughs> I feel so evil. Wait a minute, you don't have to be a baby too? That's not why I'm making you a baby. I didn't ask to be a baby! Too bad, I get to decide. <laughs> I don't want to be a baby demon. And I mean it, Grumpy. Uh, Newsflash, you're a baby demon, so um, basically, you're mean and grumpy anyway. I'm going to go cause lots of mischief. <laughs> baby demon, get back here. Hey, you can't do this. I, I, I didn't mean to make you a demon. It was a mistake. No, it wasn't. <laughs> you granted my wish. What did you think was going to happen? <laughs> my demon mobile. Ugh, I, can't, I can't sit in the driver's seat. I'm, I'm too little. I'm too little. Okay, there we go. Get back here, baby demon. This isn't awful. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is rob the grocery store because this baby demon is hungry. <laughs> Okay, we're going to eat in here. I'm starving. Ooh, pizzas. Sounds good to me. Mmm, yummy. Uh, also, I don't know why I have these braces. But I don't like them. They make me angry. More pizza. And the pizza's getting stuck in my braces. Yeah, super angry. Hey, did you pay for that? Of course not. I'm a baby demon. Do I look like I pay for things? Ha <laughs> That's it. I'm going to have to put a spell on you to be good. Too late. I'm a demon. You can't. Ha 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 Now, what else can I cause mischief in? Ooh! Let's go break all of the arcade games. What? Why would you do that? Because I'm a demon. And I do naughty things. Ha ha ha. Broken. What? That's so sad. All of the kids won't be able to play now. That's it. You're under arrest, demon. <laughs> Not till I break this one, too. Too late. It was already out of order. Duh. Hey, don't be rude to me, baby angel. Get over here. You're under arrest. Nope. Not going to happen. <laughs> now I'm going to go to the hospital and turn all of the babies like me. No, you can't do that. The babies, they should be angels. Nope. They get to decide. Oops, wrong room. Hey, I'm not a patient. Freeze, baby demon. Now it's time to give you some magic good. Magic good? What's that? It's how babies say um, that we're going to give you magic. No, I, I don't want magic. I want to be evil forever. Evil, evil, evil. Then I have no choice but to put you under arrest. What? No. That's right. Off to jail you go, baby demon. What? This room is terrible. I can't stay here. 
This is what prison is like. Here, you can have your hands uncuffed, but you're going to be stuck in here for probably a million years. What? A million years? No! <laughs> Baby demon doesn't like it. No, I did a bit. Sorry, but, you know, when we are angels and demons, there's no such thing as time. So, you know, a million years, that seems about right. No, let me out of here, baby angel, please! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Ah! No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be in jail for a million years! No! Molly? What? Molly, are you okay? Come here, get out of bed! Think you're having a nightmare! Huh, oh, what? What? Oh. Okay, never mind, I go back to sleep. Molly, do you need a snack or something? It sounds like you're having a bad dream. Yeah, I had this dream that I was like, you're a baby angel and I was a baby demon. Ah! Molly! B -b 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 what's going on with you? You're a demon and you're so short. Why are you so short? Because I'm a toddler demon! Ah! Wait a minute! It wasn't a dream! Well, um, wait. Was I an angel in your dream? Because I'm not an angel. Really? Because everyone seems to think you are. Apparently, you think you're a demon, and your dream came true. Um, I don't know what to do about this right now, but, um... Let's go see if I some trouble. Molly, this isn't like you. Seriously. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Huh, what? Oh, my gosh. That was a terrifying dream. Molly, come on. Get me late for school. Wait, are you an angel? Do you have wings? <laughs> no. Do I, do I have a dark halo over my head? No, Molly, you don't. What are you talking about? Oh, thank goodness. I had this dream that I... Never mind. It's crazy. See you downstairs, Molly. Okay. Oh, thank goodness it was just a dream. Oh, a dream within a dream. Actually, a nightmare within a nightmare because I thought I woke up, but I hadn't, and I was still a demon, and now I woke up, and I'm normal, and oh, thank goodness. <sighs> I'm never going to wish I was a demon ever again. I need some waffles. <sighs> I'm starving. <whistles> Molly, Molly, our alarm went off. Molly, come on. It's time to wake up for school, lazy bones. Seriously, Molly, I'm going to have to jump on you. Boing, 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 boing. Daisy, why are you bothering me right now? <coughs> Achoo! Whoa, Molly, you're sneezing a lot. What's wrong with you? I'm not really feeling too good. Yeah, you're fine, Molly. Come on, you don't want to miss lunch today. We're having pizza at school. No, I don't think I want any pizza. Oh, Molly, liar, liar, pants on fire. Pizza's your favorite. Now get up. Come on. Ugh, fine, Daisy. Molly, don't go that way. We just installed a diving board. Ah, there's a diving board out my room? Oh, my gosh. I walked out the door, and then I fell into the pool. Oh, my gosh. That would be cool on any other day but today. Today, I... Uh, achoo! Sneezy and... <coughs> Coffee and, ugh, not feeling good. Molly, don't be faking it. Come on, time for school. Okay, Daisy, I'm coming. Why are you walking so slow? I'm not. This is just as fast as I can go. Molly, do you want some breakfast? No, I can't eat any breakfast. Well, Molly, breakfast is the healthiest way to start the day. Yeah, okay, Daisy, if you say so. Ugh, oh, I hope she doesn't come in here. Ah, oh, maybe a nice relaxing bath will make me feel better. <coughs> Achoo! Ah, oh, I think I definitely have a cold. Molly, Molly, open up! Time for school! I have to go to the bathroom before we go. Occupied, Daisy! Occupied! Molly, you've been in there for 30 minutes! Daisy, I just got in here. Molly, open up, open up, open up. Uh, does anybody else think it's weird that there's a spotlight in the bathroom? What are we putting on a performance or something in here? La 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 la. 
Okay, I think that's totally weird. Okay, that's the weirdest light in a bathroom I've ever seen. Mighty open up! Can I go to the bathroom now? Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. A boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. Whatever, Daisy. I'll just relax here till she gets back. <coughs> Achoo! Molly, are you seriously seeping again? Huh? No, no. Well, Molly, what's wrong with you? I told you I don't feel good, Daisy. I don't believe you. You're such a fake. -o. I'm not faking, Daisy. Come on, let's go to school. Whoa, she's grumpy. She woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. How come I'm so much bigger than this car? I can't, I can't take this car anyway. He's too tiny anyway, Molly. Okay, let's see. To school we go. Molly, please seem a little cheery about it because right now you seem like the grumpiest sister in the whole world. Oh, I told you already. <coughs> Achoo! I think I'm sick. Well, you are sneezing a lot, Molly. I know. Totally. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. A boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. Daisy, turn that noise down. Oh, Molly, you sound like a grumpy old guy. Oh, you know who's like, turn down that racket and get off my lawn. <laughs> Santa, I know him. Ho, 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 ho. I'm on vacation until next Christmas. See, I'm in my swim trunks. Santa, I really want a pony for Christmas. Daisy, he's on vacation. Leave him alone. Jeepers creepers. Dun, da, dun, 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 dun. School. Ugh. Molly, don't be such a grumpy Gus. I guess my first class is computer lab. Oh, let's see what's going on today. Okay, my computer doesn't seem to be working. Hello? Computer? <coughs> Molly, could you please stop coughing on um, my computer? That's not nice. Well, <coughs> it's not like I can help it, Daisy. I told you. Huh? Huh? Molly, don't you just sneeze on my keyboard. Huh? Okay, I'm holding it in. Thank you, Molly. Achoo! Molly! Why are you sneezing on my keyboard? Rude. I had to put on this mask so I don't get sick. Seriously, Daisy? You didn't believe me that I was sick this morning, and now you're putting on a mask? Well, I thought about it, Molly, and with all your sneezing and coughing, I think you're definitely sick. Oh, funny. Very funny. You should get out one of those masks, too. I don't know where they are. But I sure could use a sandwich. Molly, you can't eat a sandwich in, um, computer lab. Well, watch me. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, yum. I don't have one of those fancy masks. Sorry, Molly. It stinks to be you, I guess. Daisy, that was rude. Oh, I don't feel so good, Daisy. Well, Molly, maybe you should go to the school nurse. No, I don't want to go to the school nurse. But Molly, she'll have you lay down and maybe you'll feel better later. Or maybe she'll send you home. Ah, uh, okay. Come on, Molly, I'll walk you, Dale. Really? Yeah, it seems like you need a friend right now. And a good sister. Well, I'm glad you believe me that I don't feel good. Yeah, Molly, come with me. Come to the school nurse. Ugh, it's getting worse, Daisy. Ah, shoo! It's definitely getting worse. Hi, we're here to help my sister. Hey, students, how are you today? Well, not so good. Not so good at all. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, what, what seems to be the problem? It's not with me, it's with my sister Molly. I'm just here for moral support. Yeah, she's here for moral support. Okay, well, what's, what's wrong? I'm all, achoo! Sneezy and <coughs> coffee and 
and all that kind of stuff. Oh, man. Sounds like maybe you should go see the doctor. Or maybe she should go into the hospital. Um, I don't know about that. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, my gosh. Nope, definitely not going in there. Molly, maybe you need it. No, I can just see the nurse. I'll be fine. Hi, Molly. What brings you to my office? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my my stomach is t uh, starting to hurt. And, um, well, I I have a cough and, and I have a runny, stuffy nose and I keep sneezing. Oh, that sounds terrible, Molly. But I don't hear you sneezing or coughing now. Are you sure you're not okay? No, I'm really not okay. I think I might go lay down in one of these cribs. Ugh. <sighs> Molly, you're not supposed to be in a crib. Get out of there. I just need to lay down. I don't feel good. <coughs> At you! Whoa, you do sound like maybe you have a cold. Okay, why don't you go sit right over there? Okay, I will. It's really nice to see you, Molly. I just wish it was under better circumstances. Would you like me to help heal you? Yeah, but then I think you should probably send me home. Okay, well, I'm giving you some medicine now for your cold, and then I can call your mom if you want, and she can come get you. I think that's probably best. Achoo! I definitely, I definitely don't feel good, Dr. Hart. Okay, well, I need you to go next door and lay down on the cot until your mom gets here. Okay. Molly, what did you find out? Molly! Molly, come back here. I'm talking to you. Molly! Okay, I want to lay down, but I don't, I don't understand how. Huh. Molly, what happened? Well, I saw the school nurse, and at first she didn't believe me, just like you. And then she said, um, she said, tell me how you don't feel good, and I told her. He'll take this magic healing apple, Molly. Thanks, Daisy. And then basically, um, I started coughing and sneezing, and... She gave me some medicine. She said she was going to call mom. I think that's probably a good idea, Molly. And I'm really sorry that um, basically I didn't believe you and asked you to come to school. It's okay, Daisy. It's okay. I love you. You're the best sister. And Okay, not always the best sister, but you're a pretty good sister. Hey, I think I'm the best sister. I wouldn't go that far, Molly. But, you know, seriously, I hope you feel better. Thanks, Daisy. Me too. Me too. Toy Hero fans, don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel so basically you can see where Marley gets battle. Yeah, and we have lots of fun at this cha ha -ha channel too. <laughs> okay, guys, if you could say get well soon in the comment section below, that would be really nice. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! These America's Funniest videos are so... Funny! Molly, I think that's kind of the point, is that they're supposed to be funny. Yeah, but sometimes I watch shows and I'm like, this isn't even funny. But this one is totally funny. Hey, Brogy, you want some popcorn? Really? You'd share your popcorn with me? You never share your snacks with anyone. Yeah, I'm kind of a pig when it comes to eating snacks. But you're my best friend, and so I'll share the popcorn with you. I don't mind. Wow, Molly. <laughs> I can't believe how long we've been best friends. I know, right? We've been BFF since, uh, uh, since preschool. Yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brookie. What's your name? <laughs> Are you in timeout? No. Then what's the problem? Aren't you having fun? No, I'm not having fun. I miss my mommy. I want to go home. Oh, uh, well, I'm not your mommy, but my name's Bookie. What's your name? My name's Molly. Hi, Molly. Maybe we could be each other's friends, and we could have fun at daycare together. I want to have fun with anyone. I want my mommy. Yeah. I'll give you a hug if it makes you feel better. Really? You will? You're not my mommy. Yeah, but I could be your best friend. Here, you could also have this hippo. You could hug him too and make you feel better. Aww, it does make me feel a little better. My name's Molly, if I didn't tell you already. I'm, I'm Rookie, like I said, and 
I think we could be really good friends if you want. I want to be your friend because you seem really nice. You seem sad, but I bet you're really nice too. Yeah, I, I'm nice. We could be best friends so we're old. Whoa, old is a long way away. Yeah, but we should be best friends until then. I agree. We could be best friends through all of school. And we could have adventures together. Yeah, that sounds fun. Do you want to go home anymore? Nah, I want to stay here with my best friend. Aww, that's sweet. Wow, we really have been friends forever. Yeah, almost close to forever. Hey, I've got to tell you something, Brookie. What is it, Molly? Well, I actually have to show you something. Stay here. I'll be right back. She's going to be so surprised when she sees this. <laughs> I bet she's totally forgotten about it. Now, where is it? Hmm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Her cute little hippo that she gave me way back in preschool. Come on, elevator. There, it wasn't working. What is it? <gasps> My hippo. You still have it all these years later? Yeah, I think it's time to return it to its owner. It's given me a lot of comfort over the years. Oh, hi, Hippo! Oh, I love my Hippo! I totally forgot that you had it all these years. Yeah, I got it from my BFF, so I kept Hippo nice and safe. Aw, oh, Molly, this is so sweet. Thanks for inviting me over today, bestie. No problem, Brookie. Anytime! Well, I better get home. I've got a lot of homework to do. Ugh, boring. See you later, Molly! Bye, Brookie! Brookie is such a cool girl. I'm so glad she's my bestie. Ah, I should probably get some fresh air. <laughs> Maybe ride my bike or something. Whoa! Someone's moving into that giant mansion next door. Like, seriously, it's a mansion. Whoever lives there must be rich. I should probably go say hi. Moving you in. <laughs> knock, knock. Anybody home? Hello, is anybody there? Is anybody home? Oh, hi, you must be one of the new neighbors. I'm Brittany. Can I come in? Sure, just push the door open. My hands are a little full right now. Hi, I'm Molly. Where'd you go? Sorry, I just have to go back down to the moving truck. I'll be right there. <laughs> it literally looked like she flew to the moving truck. <laughs> oh, I'm back. Wow, your house is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> My parents have a lot of money. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess so. So, what's the school like here? Oh, I think you'll like Brookhaven High. It's pretty nice. Cool. So, uh, you want to hang out? Aren't you busy? Nah, this can wait. And besides, our butler can help me. Your butler? Holy guacamole. Are you a Billie Eilish fan? Totally. I love her music. You should see me in a crown. Ooh, I love that song. Um, so you want a snack? Ha 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 ha! Thought you'd never ask. Come on. We have tons of stuff in our fridge. Tons of treats and stuff. Ooh, treats. You're speaking my language. So what do you want? Ice cream, pizza, Reese's, uh, anything you want. Ooh, double scoop of ice cream. Mmm, burning. This is delicious. It's gourmet. Our chef makes it at home with an amazing hand-turned ice cream machine. Whoa. That sounds fancy. And wait a minute. Did you just say you have a chef? Yeah. We can call on our chef anytime to make us anything we want. Holy guacamole. You live a really charmed life. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. But most important thing are my favorite people. Really? Could I be one of your favorite people? It seems like you could. You seem really cool, Molly. And since we're neighbors, we should probably be BFFs. Don't you have a BFF from your old town? No, I was, well, not very popular at my old school. Really? But you're really funny and nice and, well, you seem super cool. Yeah, I don't know. My old school was kind of lame. <sighs> my parents had to pay a million dollars for me to go there a year. Whoa, holy guacamole! Yeah, but I think it was a waste of their money. I'd rather go to public school because people there just seemed so rude to me. Wow, mm, this ice cream's great. Want to see my room? Well, it's totally not completely unpacked yet. But you can see it if you want. Yeah, I'd love to. Wow, her room is probably amazing. Come on, let's go up the elevator. Well, here it is. 
I'm like, what? I'm Molly. It's like you've got a New York City style loft apartment up here. Is this your own bathroom? Yeah, that's pretty posh, right? Totally. Brittany, I was thinking maybe we should be BFFs. Yeah, definitely. Oh, sorry, I've got to take this. Hello? Hey, Molly. <laughs> I came home and did my homework, and I thought maybe we could hang out again because we're BFFs. Um, sorry, Brookie. I'm busy. Busy? I could help you with your, like, chores or anything. I don't mind. I mean, you shared your popcorn with me. Molly, who is that? Come on. Don't you want to spend time with me? Um, Brookie, I'm here with my BFF right now. I can't talk. What? I'm your BFF. What are you talking about? No, um, I'm sorry, but you can just be my regular friend because... Uh, my next-door neighbor, Brittany, is really cool, and I've decided she's my BFF. Are you serious, Molly? We've been best friends since preschool. What are you talking about? Um, I'm really sorry, but the phone's breaking up. C -c -c Can't hear you. Molly, I know you're making those crackly sounds. I'm coming over. No, don't do it. Okay, okay, she hung up on me. Who was that? It was my ex-BFF. Wait a minute, you had a best friend before me? Uh, yeah, but she means nothing to me. You're everything, Brittany. You're everything. Seriously? The only fun thing you could find to do with your new BFF is hang out in the bathroom? What, do you have to fart or something? Whoa, Brookie, what's going on with your face? Uh, Molly, that's the look of jealousy. Are you jealous that we are BFFs and you're no longer her BFF? Yeah, I am, because Molly's been my BFF since preschool, and we're best friends. Um, okay, I can see you guys are going to fight over me now, right? Well, I'm not going to fight, because I'm just going to, I'm going to challenge you to a competition to see who her best friend really is. Oh, okay, um, well, how about a dance competition? Good, fine, let's do it. Maybe we should come out of the bathroom, though. <laughs> There's a lot more space out here, guys. All right, um, I guess let the dance competition begin. Oh, yeah? You think that's a good dance move? I don't think so, Brittany. I can do that in a heartbeat. Wow, you guys are really going to fight over me. I'm not sure if I should be afraid or flattered. Watch this dance move, but you can't do this. Oh, yeah? I totally can do that. day yeah until one of us drops over guys stop 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 this is insanity look I, I, I want you to both be my friends molly are you serious we just had a flashback together at the beginning of this video yeah that was pretty special that's because we've been friends forever best friends are built on years of getting to know one another being there for one another you've known this girl for five seconds Okay, I guess you're right. I, I got a little starry-eyed about all the snacks at her house. Oh, Molly, you're always thinking about your stomach. Wait a minute, are you saying that Molly only likes me because I have snacks? No, Brittany, I'm saying that I know Molly enough to know that sometimes her stomach thinks more than her brain. OMG, you do know me the best, you do! I do. Look, Brittany, Bookie is my best friend, but I want you to be my friend and maybe over time, you both can be my BFFs. But best friends takes time. I understand, Molly, and I still want to be your friend. And maybe, Brookie, if you don't hate me too much, we could be friends too. Oh, I don't know about that, Brittany. Come on, Brookie. I know you. You're a kind person. Let Brittany into your heart. Yeah, I guess. But don't try to steal my best friend again! Whoa! <laughs> don't mess with Brookie. <laughs> You guys, we could have so much fun today. There's a lot of snacks here. Yeah, sounds good to me. Let's go eat some. <laughs>